From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Cascade Paint and Supply is Redding's oldest family-owned paint store established in 1953. We are the largest Dunn Edwards dealer in the nation and most of our products are made in the U.S. Our friendly and knowledgeable staff are ready to answer your questions and help you today. Well, I hope you've had a good day so far. You know, temperatures are dropping. You may feel it, especially if you have to work outdoors. Still hot, but certainly not as hot as we've seen here in weeks past. Now, there's really overall not much change in our weather pattern and our forecast in general for the rest of this week, this weekend, and most likely even through next week. Now, there are going to be highs struggling to get into the triple digits most every day. Now, there are a few days where, I, yeah, I think we could touch 100 degrees, especially for the north end of the valley. But really, overall, no big heat waves or not much in the way of mountain thunderstorms either. So we don't have to worry about at least any lightning strikes sparking fires. But we still have to look at the fire potential here and see that we are in that low risk category. So conditions certainly have improved for your Friday. But the winds are still a little gusty at times. The humidity is low, and that's normal for this time of the year. I mean, you can see the outlook here for today. And then, of course, taking a look at your outlook for tomorrow, still that typical spot that we're seeing in extreme eastern Lassen and not to mention Modoc counties as well. But nothing unusual. And the smoke forecast, yeah, it's going to still a little, be a little hazy in some spots here over the next couple of days. But I'm not seeing any massive plumes of smoke giving us poor air quality as we go into the next few days either. And there you can see as we go into Saturday morning, again, just a little bit of haze, especially out in Trinity County and western Siskiyou County as well. There you can see the camera looking out for Redding. Yeah, the camera's shaking a little bit in those winds blowing. But again, nothing too terribly gusty looking at the... Uh, not much, you can't really see here, but it doesn't look like we're seeing much in the way of haze either. Just those clear skies out there right now. Here's your 10-day trend for Redding. As I mentioned, we could touch 100 degrees here by the time we get into next Monday. But then the rest of next week should stay below 100 degrees. And then maybe that next weekend, temperatures once again a little over 100. But nothing big, nothing major as far as that heat is concerned. Now tonight dropping down to the low 60s in the valley, eventually getting in the mid to upper 90s for your daytime highs on your Friday. Taking a look at the mountains for Siskiyou and Modoc County, upper 80s for those daytime highs. And how about the eastern mountains, also upper 80s, maybe a little bit warmer in Susanville with a high of about 91 degrees tomorrow. We take a look at that future cast and we're going to take you all the way out even into the end of next week. So we're going to start with this upcoming Sunday and this weekend. We still got the cooler air to our north and west and that's pushing the heat and keeping it down to our south and east. Responsible for the cooler weather we've been talking about. Now we're going to see another little boost in those temperatures Monday, but for the most part, keeping those temperatures below normal. But I am seeing this heat get closer to us by not this upcoming weekend, but a week from then. You can see this. Now, what I'm seeing happen is I've seen in the past uh, forecast model runs that this wants to kind of come back up over us. Now the latest models want to take that and kind of squeeze it off to the west and cooler air rise to the north of that. Basically, what this is saying is we're just not seeing a heat wave heading our way, which is great news, right? We're going to keep our temperatures around normal for this time of the year. The monsoon moisture is still to our south and east. The storms are staying to our north. That's pretty standard and typical. We take a look at your future cast. Yeah, we are going to see a little bit of monsoon moisture come in early next week, around Monday, Tuesday. So I think we'll see some high, even some mid-level clouds move in. It'll probably feel a little bit more muggy than we're used to, but the thunderstorms should stay to our south and east. And I don't anticipate any thunderstorms from that monsoon moisture early next week. There's next Thursday. And that cloud cover moves on out going into the next weekend. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be looking at mainly sunny skies and the monsoon moisture stays out of our region. Temperatures are going to be, let's take it back into those overnight lows. Uh, looks like tonight we are going to drop down to the uh, mid-60s here for the valley. 64 degrees for Redding, 66 for Red Bluff. And there you can see for the mountains in the low 50s. Now we look at our highs for tomorrow. And yeah, not looking bad. Temperatures mid to upper 90s. That's below normal for this time of the year. And for the mountains, mainly in the 80s, I think some of the warmer spots like Wairika and Susanville could get up into the low 90s for your daytime highs. So here's your seven-day forecast looking at Mount Shasta. Temperatures upper 80s, maybe up to about 91 on Monday. But for the most part, staying in the upper 80s. That's the case for El Tourist and not to mention Susanville. Although Susanville, just a tad warm mainly in the low 90s for those daytime highs. And looking at your 7-day forecast for the valley, yeah, I think the, the best day and the best chance to see 100 degrees for the valley and Redding and Red Bluff in general will be Monday. 
But overall, I think we should stay below 100 degrees for the most part through the next seven days, including Redding, Red Bluff, of course, Chico, down to the low 90s by next Wednesday.